What's up, Believe Nation? Today I'm gonna to talk about the seven lifestyle changes that you need to adopt to be a success. And as always, guys, if you hear a point that really resonates with you, please leave it down in the comments below, put quotes around it so other people can be inspired as well. And also, writing it down helps you lock it in for yourself too. Enjoy. So I often get asked by entrepreneurs, what are the habits that you need to have to be a success? What do you see in morning routines and what do you see the lifestyle changes that people make to go from having a job to becoming a successful entrepreneur and taking an idea that you have and making something amazing? What are the changes that you need to make in your life to be able to get there? And so today I'm gonna to share with you my seven lifestyle changes that I think every entrepreneur needs to make to become a success. Number one is establish a morning routine for success. I think this is so critical, so important. Most people wake up and their life just explodes on them. They have a morning routine, but it wasn't designed with purpose. You know, it's wake up, go to the washroom, grab a cup of coffee, breakfast, and rush out. You know, it's not designed with intent and with purpose. I think what happens far too often is entrepreneurs get inspired by something at random points in time, and then they have these moments of boldness where they go out and want to create something amazing, and then they wake up the next day and it's over. They're back to their baseline again. They fall back down to earth. They think about all those limiting person beliefs and they say, that big bold idea that, you, that I had yesterday? No, I can't do that. That's too crazy. That's too, what was I thinking? That was really stupid. I, who am I to do that? You've fallen back down. You're living a limited life all over again and that happens to you every single day. And so whatever that thing was that got you inspired, motivated, thinking big, resourceful, unstoppable, instead of it happening randomly once a week or once a month or whenever it happens, Schedule it in with intent, with purpose. Put it into your morning routine so that every day you start with that thing that gets you feeling big, bold, brave, and unstoppable. Put that into your morning routine and then let it carry forward for you for the rest of the day. Lifestyle change number two is create a better environment. The environment that you're in matters. The people that you're around matters. The, the physical environment that you're in matters. The, the sounds that are happening matter. And so when you are working or when you're in work mode, what are you listening to? What's on, what, what sounds are coming out? What's on your walls around you? Are you in an environment that makes you come alive, that makes you want to think bigger? When I'm at my office, I have these posters on the wall of people who inspire me for different reasons. Five different people who inspire me for different messages and different reasons. I walk into there and like, this is it, I gotta do something big today, <laughs> right? And those five people may mean nothing to you. That's okay, it means something to me. It helps me believe more. And so creating that physical environment for yourself. You know, a lot of people will say, well, I don't have the money to have a private island because the private island is gonna be the thing that makes me come alive, right? You can have a picture of a private island. You can get the feeling of a private island. You know, it doesn't have to cost a lot of money to create an amazing environment for yourself. Think about the friends that you're hanging around with. Thinking about the videos that you watch and the things that you consume, right? Are you, are you going on YouTube and watching prank videos or are you going on YouTube and watching videos like this where you get to be motivated and inspired and learn something? Having that built in so that you have a great environment that sets you up for success and reinforces the success all the time. It's hard when you're an entrepreneur because we don't have a boss. There's nobody saying, why are you on Facebook right now, right? There's nobody saying, why are you answering those snaps and on Instagram and just texting people? Why are you not working? Right, that's what a boss would do. We are our own boss. And there's a great freedom in that, right? There's an amazing freedom. That's part of the reason why maybe you wanted to start your own business. But there's also a lack of accountability. And so you want to have an environment that holds you accountable. When I'm working and I look up and I see Steve Jobs looking back at me, it's like, get back to work, Kevin. Keep working, hustle. Hustle harder, go. When I'm watching the videos and doing the research for the videos of this channel, it reinforces it. Like all these successful people are telling me every day, you gotta work harder, you gotta push better, you gotta learn more, you gotta, you know, it just inspires me to wanna keep doing my absolute best and they hold me accountable. My environment holds me accountable because I don't have a boss in my business. So you need to create an environment that is designed for your success. Lifestyle change number three to adopt is you need to accept responsibility. Stop complaining and start accepting responsibility. A lot of people use excuses for why their business is not successful, right? The economy is in a tank, we have the new president, interest rates are up or interest rates are down or there's a war or whatever. There's always, an ex there's always an excuse. There's always a reason why. And as long as you can blame somebody else then you are never gonna do anything. 
as long as you could put the blame over here, it's the president's fault that I'm not more successful, it means you don't have to do anything because you gave up the responsibility, right? It's, 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 it's their fault. Successful entrepreneurs, successful people accept the responsibility. If you lost a customer, it's your fault. If you're not more successful, it's your fault. Always accept responsibility in every situation. Your relationship isn't where you want to go. It's not your partner's fault, it's your fault. Fix it now. Sure, are other people involved? Yes, but blaming them doesn't fix anything. So accepting responsibility in every situation, understanding how do I fix this? What can I do? Because I can't control everything else. I'm not controlling interest rates. I'm not controlling the economy. I control what I do every day. So let's fix that. If you're not where you want to be, it's your fault. Accept that and start making some changes. It sucks because it's depressing, because it's so easy to have somebody to blame, but it's also empowering because you know that if you start making some changes, you can start seeing big things happen for you. A lot of the best opportunities come from complaints. Where other people are complaining that something is a certain way, successful entrepreneurs turn that into an opportunity. The fact that people are complaining means there's a pain. Take that pain and solve it. There's a business for you. And that's what successful people do. They don't complain, they don't whine, they don't just talk to their friends and say how bad everything is. They accept responsibility, they take action, and they turn those pain points into opportunities. <music> Lifestyle change number four is you need to take action. Take action. Successful people take action. Too many people just want to be a success. They get off just thinking about ideas, right? Here's another idea. I know it would be great if we could do this. Or, hey, here's what I would do if I owned McDonald's. That's great, but nothing's ever gonna happen for you until you take action. Thinking alone is not enough. Thinking alone is only part of the equation. You gotta do something about it. And what happens a lot is you get an idea. This happens to a lot of people. You get some idea and you have your job, but you don't do anything about that idea. You just have some job, you keep going on it because you say all these reasons why you can't do this business. And so you're working on this job and then somebody else goes off and makes millions of dollars and has a huge impact on the world off of that idea. You say, that was my idea. Well, no, it wasn't. That was their idea too. The only difference is they did something about it. So don't be upset at them, be upset at yourself. It's nobody's fault, take responsibility. Nobody else's fault, but your own. You have to do something. Having the idea is not enough. Have a big vision, it's amazing, it's great. I want you to have that big vision. Take an action step, small. Think big, act small, consistently, every day. Go, do something. Successful people take action. And so the next time you get an idea, just find some small way to start. Test it out. You may think, hey, it, it could be on a lifestyle thing too. Like you think, hey, I wanna take salsa classes. Instead of dreaming for years about taking salsa classes, go out and take a salsa class. You may hate it. I don't think you'll hate it if you take it at Toronto Dine Salsa. But you may hate it, and at least now you know. And you have to spend the rest of your life wondering and worrying about it. Or you may take it and love it. And then you adjust and find other ways to get involved in it and continue dancing. Maybe it becomes a business for you. When you get an idea about something, find a small way to get started immediately. Stop waiting, stop delaying, take You know, you can't do everything yourself in your business and you're likely doing things that you shouldn't be doing. If you're doing something important, you have to build a team. The first person I hired was for one hour a day and he freed up more than an hour of my time a day because he was better at the work than I was. And then I slowly built up my team. And so you can hire somebody, you may not have enough money to have somebody come on full time in your business, but to hire somebody for an hour a day or a couple hours a week to help take off some of the tasks that you shouldn't be doing will really help. You want to spend as much time in the CEO role as possible. That's where you want to be. And so looking at your schedule and seeing where am I spending time that should be eliminated, what things can be automated, and then whatever's left that still has to get done, how do I delegate some of these other things so that I can focus on what I'm great at? So when I started my YouTube channel, I did everything myself. I'm a big advocate of not spending money till you're making money. Don't go out and start hiring somebody if you're making zero in your business. But as soon as I started making money on my YouTube channel, you know, I was doing everything. I was the cameraman, I was the editor, I was the researcher, I was in front of the camera, everything. As soon as I started making some money on a YouTube channel, I poured it back in and the first person I hired was an editor. Because editing took me a long time, I wasn't very good at it, I didn't want to get good at it, more importantly. And then as I started making more, I hired more people, more editors, a cameraman, I bought more gear, I got, you know, I got cameras, I got microphones. 
You know, I got researchers, I got people to help me on the YouTube channel with the comments. And so my team grew as my business grew. But the thing that really helped skyrocket the early growth was getting my first editor. So as soon as you can afford it, bringing somebody on to help alleviate some of the tasks that you're not good at, and more importantly, don't want to get good at either, can really help you quickly scale up your business and reduce the stress because you get most stressed out when you're doing work that you don't want to do. The number six lifestyle change you need to make to be successful is you need to be consistent. So many people are not consistent. So many entrepreneurs I talk to have a day where they're on fire and doing so much work and building up and sending emails and marketing and pouring their love into product development and then nothing. The next day nothing and the next day nothing and it just it falls apart until like next week or next month. Another great day, super productive. You have to understand, it takes time for momentum to build. You will not have success by just having these short spurts with long gaps in between. It's far better to spend half an hour to an hour every single day on your business than one day a week all in on the company. Because momentum takes time to build up. And if you look at anybody who's had success, in any field, not just entrepreneurship, in any field, it's not just working, it's not just taking action, it's taking action consistently every single day. Putting it in your calendar and sticking by the calendar, doing the work consistently is what separates the high achievers from everybody else. And there's always an excuse for why you can't do it, right? I get it, there's always some kind of excuse. There's a wedding to go to, there's an illness in the family, you know, there's legit reasons. And there's others that are not legit, that are just, you know, based off of your fear. You can always find a reason why you shouldn't do something, always. And if you look at the most successful people in the world, they had more reasons than you do for not doing anything. Look at how they started, look at where they came from. Most of these people, I'm not talking about inherited wealth, I'm talking about people who built something for themselves. Look at where they came from. They had less than what you already have right now. They had every excuse in the world not to take action consistently. Every reason in the world why they had to go off and do something else instead. And they found a time somehow to focus on building this thing that they said was important to them and they did it. Meanwhile, you're sitting on your excuses and your reasons for why you can't do it. Stop the excuses. Consistent, daily, massive action. And habit number seven is you have to believe in yourself. I think of all of the ones we've talked about today, none of them matter if you don't believe in yourself. You could take lots of action, but if you don't believe in the work that you're doing and believe that you can make it happen, it's not gonna happen. What you believe you can do, you will do. If you believe that you can, you can. If you believe that you can't, then you can't. And so I think one of the most important things that you can do is learn how to develop that inner belief in yourself. I got it a lot through my parents who told me I was Evan Costrilli Carmichael, I could do anything that I wanted. I continue that tradition off to my son where every time I drop him off at school or say goodnight, it's either Carmichael's can do anything or I'm Hayden Carmichael and I can do anything to give him the confidence in himself. But if you don't get that from your parents, you don't get that from your friends, it's fine. Get that from the videos, get that from books, get that from resources, get them from circles around you. I got more of my confidence now ongoing through the videos that I put up. I'm surrounded by successful people daily, not in person, but through my videos. Every day I'm surrounded by Elon Musk and Steve Jobs and Howard Schultz and all these people feeding knowledge and wisdom and motivation into me, making me a better leader, making me more confident, making me believe in what I'm doing and in myself more. If you want to change the world, you have to believe that you can change the world. You could say it all you want, but if you don't believe it, nothing's gonna happen. And so building that self-confidence up, creating that environment and that morning routine and those rituals, where if you find the things, if this channel makes you believe in yourself more, then watch the channel more. If my channel doesn't do that, unsubscribe, go somewhere else, but do something. Because that inner belief is critical. Successful people believe in themselves. Successful people believe in the vision that they have when nobody else believes in it. They have this big vision for what they want to accomplish and everybody thinks they're crazy, it doesn't matter, I'm still going to go out and do it. You need to have that unshakable belief in yourself, in the project, in the mission, if you want to go out and make something big happen. So that's my take on the seven lifestyle changes that you need to make in order to be a success. I'd love to know, what did you guys think? Which one was your favorite and why? Did I miss an eight, nine, 10 that you guys want to add to the list? Put it down in the comments below. Super curious to hear what you have to say. 
I also want to give a big shout out to Katie Cruz. Katie, thank you so much for picking up a copy of my book, Your One Word, and for making that awesome video on it as well. I really, really, really appreciate the support and I'm so glad that you enjoyed the book. So thank you guys so much for watching. I believe in you. I hope you continue to believe in yourself and whatever your one word is. Much love. I'll see you soon.